everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Kirsty, aka K Beth Bookish. I'm also the creator of Adventurathon, and this is part two of my January reading plans TBR, where I take you through the books I'm reading for my bounties and side quests. If you are unfamiliar with Adventurathon, it's the readathon that I created last year. It's co-hosted by both Ren from The Reading Ren and Jonah from Words from the Void. And yeah, we just we had two rounds where we created characters. Now this January we are doing our first round of like main prompts and main adventures. And we started off with the main quests, which are a series of quests around this insert generic fantasy landy landier name here. And then I announced that the there would also be sort of side quests, aka bounties, released on the 8th of January. So those are now released. And I thought I would take you through my TBR because I did say in my January TBR that there'd be a part two, and this is it. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly go through the side quests and then for the ones that I have chosen a book, I'll tell you the book and then the ones that I haven't chosen, I'll just say. The only one that I have decided against doing is Crone's Nest because I just, I it, I couldn't think, find any that off, I looking at my shelves I couldn't see one that I was interested in and I just decided I wasn't going to do it. So I'm not going to go through these in any particular order. I'm just going to go through them in the order that I have them written down. And so Missing Presumed Alive is a book featuring a disappearance. And for this, I've chosen Furthermore by Tahira Mafi, where it literally says on the back that Alice is determined to, provo to prove her magical abilities and solve the mystery of her father's disappearance. It's a middle grade. It's a short story. Like, it's not that long the writing is big the spacing is big i'm hoping i can get through this in a day or two and yeah it just clears off that middle grade on my shelf and gives me a book with disappearance for nocturnal terror which is to read a book entirely at night i'm going to be rereading dragonbound by thea harrison i know i read the elder races series when i was younger i can't really remember much about it I just remember that I did really enjoy it. So I bought the first one. I thought I'd give it a reread and see if I want to go back to it. And it features a dragon shifter and also a half human, half weir called Pia who steals from him and he decides to claim her as his mate in return for that. And it just sparks a whole chain of events. Tangling with the Terror is a book about monster smut. And this is one I'm probably not going to get to, but I have got... Uh, this book here which is a monstrous claim so I have this as an option should I wish to but like I said it's not really high on my priorities and I, I'm not in a rush to get to it. For important delivery which is to feature travel I have gone with Mal volume 3 because this features time travel. There is a lot of manga this month because I'm obviously doing the 100 manga challenge for the year and I also just wanted some shorter books to get the gold for my side quests as quickly as I could. Then there was Unveiling Corruption, and this is to read a book featuring a political storyline. So I've gone with Spy Family Volume 1 because this is about two countries that are rivals. And so you have, oh my god, and you said Erin. His name's not Erin Yeager. <laughs> Lloyd Forger. Where did Aaron Jaeger come from? <laughs> I don't know. I thought his name was Jaeger. It's not. It's Forger. We have the spy Twilight who is sent undercover to gather information about an enemy of the country, which is all political and it's politics and spies are politics. So yeah, it's telepath, assassin and spy. And if you haven't read or heard of this, then you must have been under a rock because it's been huge in recent years. It's one of my favourites. I've talked about it on the channel before. I was in the, certainly the anime series. I've absolutely been loving. So I'm really excited to get to the manga series. Critter Clearance is to read a book under 150 pages. And obviously manga is a perfect pick for the, this one. So I've chosen a book that is in my wholesome manga part two video like stack and that is high school debut volume one so i will be hopefully getting to this 
And it's just basically these guys are going into high school and she wants to come into high school with a bang and like reinvent herself as this new person and find romance. She then recruits an upperclassman to help her with this and he's like, yeah, sure, I'll help you. But on one catch, you cannot fall in love with me. I wonder what's going to happen. And then the final one is the Monster Slayer, which is to read a book that is a minimum of 600 pages and you earn gold for the amount of pages you read. For this, again, I really, 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 really want to get to it, but I have a horrible feeling it's not going to happen this month, but it will absolutely be February pick if I don't, because I would rather die than not read this book soon. And that is Gold by Raven Kennedy. I have unfortunately heard one slight spoiler, like trope thing, that is going to feature in this and I'm like depending on the character and the situation that causes this I'm either going to be like okay yeah whatever or I'm going to be you've just destroyed the entire series for me and a couple of people who I know have loved this series as much as me by now have now gone off it and I am terrified so I think that's why I've not been quite so quick to pick this one up because I'm now very nervous that it's going to go down a route that I absolutely hate and is going to like make me just no longer enjoy the series. I really hope it doesn't do that but this is like my chonker it's 600 and something pages I don't actually know like 600 and let's not look at the very very last words 643 so it's perfect and yeah, that is my final one. So yeah, these are the final books for this round of adventurer -thon. And if you are taking part and have been struggling to find books for the side quests, I don't think I'm going to get round to doing a specific video. I normally do a recommendation video. I don't know if I'm going to have time or energy this week to do it or this round to do that. But as always, there will be spots on discord there's a channel on discord for you to ask for recommendations and there is always the link to the spreadsheet that i will post below for you so i don't think there will be a video of recommendations from me i don't know like jonah or ren will probably do one or hopefully do one but from me it's just i will not have time to do one just yet especially where i've been recovering from illness and then i've got a lot of stuff going on with ren for the rest of the month and stuff like that so i do apologize for that but as i said there are other method other channels for you to get recommendations should you need them but yeah this is my little stack and lots of manga there to sort of help bulk out my reading and yeah i'm really excited to get to these so let me know in the comments if you are also planning on doing some bounties. What are you planning on picking up? What do you think? What are you thinking about reading? Good luck, adventurers, with all of your journeys, whether they be the main quests or the bounties. May your rewards be bountiful. Hey. And I will see you guys on the next one. I hope you're all good. I hope you're staying safe. And until next time, bye.